Hey folks, how's it going? It's r and Diesel here today, and stay tuned because today we're testing whether or not turbo blankets are actually worth it on a 7.3 power stroke, and more specifically on an old body style 7.3. Stay tuned. Now you heard me say that this is more specifically for the old body style 7.3 that this testing that I did applies for. And the reason why is because the old body style 7.3 and the Super Duty 7.3 have different turbochargers. And more specifically speaking, they have different turbine area ratio housings and that's going to have a big effect on the way that those turbochargers spool and how they behave in general. So if you guys have ever heard of turbo blankets, essentially the idea that they do is you literally put a blanket around your turbocharger. Now it's not a blanket in your traditional sense, it's made out of, of course, materials that are designed to handle the heat of exhaust. And you'll see things like lava rock fibers and some really cute ones like fiberglass will be used as well. But the idea is that your turbocharger is essentially a heat engine, and what it does is it takes, of course, your hot exhaust gas and it converts it into mechanical energy. Unfortunately, a lot of that heat from the exhaust gas actually goes through the manifolds of your vehicle, and it'll go through the turbine housing, and it will get lost to the engine bay, and as a result, you'll lose efficiency of your turbo, and you'll, of course, dump a whole lot of heat into your engine bay, which is never a good thing. So what turbo blankets do is they essentially help to keep that heat inside of the turbine housing to improve the efficiency of the turbo. And some studies have shown that they will actually reduce the turbo lag. It gives you more peak end boost. And so it does indeed help. I know Cummins has done some testing on blankets and they seem to help with their engines. But I wanted to see more specifically whether or not a turbo blanket would benefit the 7.3 power stroke. More specifically, I want to see if it would benefit my old body style 7.3. So if you guys aren't familiar, Old body style 7.3s didn't come with an intercooler from the factory, and as a result, Ford kind of made this design decision that in order to keep exhaust gas temperatures low, they would minimize exhaust restriction. Unfortunately, whenever you put a turbocharger on, you will inadvertently add some exhaust back pressure to the system. You've got really two major kinds of fixed geometry turbos, you know, your traditional turbos that don't have variable nozzles and whatnot, and you can size them based off of their area radius ratio. I won't really go into too much detail about that, but bottom line is, if you have a smaller area radius ratio, then you will have a turbocharger that, generally speaking, spools a lot quicker, and it'll give you a lot more power down low at the sacrifice of higher exhaust restriction at the higher end and less efficiency at higher end flow rates. And, of course, you got the larger area radius ratio turbines that are better for the high volume, high flow, high horsepower, high performance up top, but they're not so great down low, and generally speaking, they're pretty darn laggy. So to put things simply, after all of my testing, I found out that turbo blankets, quite frankly, are not really worth it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of turbo blankets out there for the 7.3 power stroke. They have kind of a goofy flange and all that for the turbine housing. You also have the exhaust back pressure regulator to worry about, and that changes things a little bit. And as a result, you can find one online from like Diesel Side. I know makes one, but it's over two hundred dollars. And for two hundred dollars, you know, you don't see two hundred dollars worth of benefit. The two hundred dollars I spent on this thing was for a performance chip, and heck, that thing added like fifty horsepower alone. You know, it's to the to the rear wheels. You know, supposedly somewhere in that range. And that was definitely worth the two hundred dollars as a performance modification. Turbo blankets nowhere near the same effect. Whenever I put this turbo or a mock-up turbo blanket on my truck, I noticed maybe a little bit of a difference, but not enough that you could definitely say that it was a distinct difference. It might have been just a difference that I felt because, you know, placebo effect, as you think it's going to make a difference. So that's putting it short and sweet. But there's more to the story than just that. So what I ended up doing to test out a turbo blanket is, well, certainly I didn't want to spend over $200 on a turbo blanket to find out, oh man, it doesn't really work. Also, after doing some research, I've been hearing a lot of stories, people saying that you, know, you put a turbo blanket on there, and after it gets hot, it kind of sets on there, and it sticks, and it stays, and uh, if you were to pull it off, it would basically fall apart. And I'm like, well, I don't want to basically throw away $200. What I ended up doing was I went to your friendly neighborhood hardware store, 
and I picked up some pink fiberglass insulation. Yeah, the same stuff that you find in your attic, you find in your walls. Uh, before I stuck this fiberglass underneath my hood, I wanted to check to make sure that it wouldn't burn. You know, theoretically it's glass, so it wouldn't burn. So what I did was I got a propane torch, set that on there to see you know, would this stuff keep, keep going or would it burn. And Well, luckily all it did was it basically just turned back into glass, became really brittle and fell apart. So I thought, okay, well, this stuff won't burn, so... Looks like it'll be safe, so we'll stick it on the turbocharger and see what the heck happens. So at first, what I did was I got just a small strip of fiberglass insulation, put it around my turbocharger, and I ran some 0 to 50 mile an hour tests. Not 0 to 60, 0 to 50. I didn't really want to go too much over the speed limit. Upon doing my testing, without the turbo blanket, I was running a 0 to 50 miles an hour in about 8 seconds. You know, it's 0, pedal it floor. 50 miles an hour, stopped the watch, and it took me about 8 seconds to do that. And put the turbo blanket back on there, and it still took about the same amount of time, 8 seconds. So, I really didn't see any benefit right there, and I thought, well, okay, I'm, maybe I'm not really doing a turbo blanket justice. So, I went back in, and I added more insulation to kind of overbuild the turbo blanket and make it as best as I possibly could to more... I guess reflect the idea of a turbo blanket better and that might have seemed to help a little bit and I ended up going back and doing a 0 to 60 mile an hour test and without the turbo blanket I ran a 10.5 second 0 to 60 when I put the turbo blanket on there I ran about a 10.6 second 0 to 60 so in that sense there you know I'm using my stopwatch and I've gotten my foot it's not really scientifically accurate as best as I can get. So a tenth of a second I really can't judge and for all intents and purposes I saw no measurable effect on increasing the performance of the vehicle. So while I didn't really notice a big difference in terms of the performance of the vehicle, another thing I wanted to do was to see if the turbo blanket had any effect on the engine bay temperature. So I had a temperature probe hooked up close to the intake, not as close as I would have liked it, but at least in the engine bay so that we could measure and see what the temperatures were. So with the turbo blanket, the highest temperature I saw was about 104, 105 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually a lot cooler than I originally thought. Previously, I had measured on the other side of the engine bay on the passenger side, and that got up to about 130 degrees at one point when I was doing some previous testing in, in a previous video. But testing over here on the driver's side, most I saw about 105 degrees, and that's with the turbo blanket on there. So I thought, okay, well, maybe it is making a little bit of difference, but... Unfortunately, you pull up turbo blanket and ran the same test, and the temperature stayed in the same range. It went anywhere from between 70 degrees Fahrenheit to about 104, 105 degrees Fahrenheit engine bay temperature. So, from a temperature standpoint, I didn't really see that the tur turbo blanket made much of a difference there either. So, again, turbo blanket, is it worth it? Probably no, not really. Now, that's the numbers. Now, if you were to look at this thing in you're driving this thing around, I think I did notice a very, very slight difference on the low-end performance for the vehicle. So the turbocharger seemed to respond a little bit better with the turbo blanket. Is it $200 better? Definitely not. It's, you know, maybe the $6 better that I would have expected out of the fiberglass that I bought from the hardware store. $6 better? Yeah, sure, probably $6 better, but unfortunately, turbo blankets are not six dollars they're more than that if it were six dollars and i say yeah it's totally worth it but considering how expensive they are you know your money's better spent elsewhere but i wanted to continue on the trend and see okay well i saw that this turbo blanket might have helped a little bit but you know there's still a lot of exposed space on this thing i still have my exhaust manifolds that are not insulated up pipes are still not insulated and there's a lot more room for heat to be lost so what i ended up doing was i Got some more of my fiberglass insulation and put all of it that I could in my engine bay. Of course, it looks ugly as I'll get out, but eh, who cares? It's performance, right? Anyway, so I put all that on there and drove the thing around, and that I actually think made a difference. And it was, you know, I know this truck was starting to build boost a lot quicker with just a, previously whenever I put a little bit of throttle into it, you wouldn't really build any boost. You know, of course, looking at my boost gauge I have here, but and of course this is all in stock tuning and of course now with the turbo blanket and all the external insulation that I've added it actually did build about one two pounds boost 
and so it was actually noticeably quicker. Again, it wasn't a whole lot, but enough that, okay, well, maybe it's justifiable. So if that turbo blanket and a whole heat shield setup had been, you know, 200 bucks and it covers your, if it had covered your turbocharger and covered your manifolds and all that, then, okay, then maybe it would be worth $200. Still a little bit high in price. You guys know me. If you've been keeping up with the channel, I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on my exhaust or um, parts and whatnot. Hence, I built my own exhaust for like, you know, 120 bucks or something like that. I built a $20 muffler to give an idea with the same pink fiberglass if that gives you an idea. So at the end of the day, you know, I didn't find that the turbo blanket would actually be worth it, but this is a test that's simple and cheap enough that, heck, you could try it yourself. I mean, go to your hardware store and buy some of that cheapo insulation like I did. It's $6, man. You don't really have much to lose. Stick it on there, see what happens, and let me know what you think down in the comment box if you think that this is an accurate test or if you think that you have a better opinion about turbo blankets or whatnot, if you have a better idea about heat control. Well, folks, that does it for this video here today. I hope it helped you out. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helps you make a decision as to whether or not you should put a turbo blanket on your 7.3 Power Stroke or, mind you, whatever other diesel, gasoline, whatever kind of engine you have if you drive a rocket. Then, okay, fine. Whatever. Thanks for watching, folks.